Okay. So how much? And so if you're making a tea, is that is that the appropriate amount that you would need? Well, what do you think? Depends on how much. Okay. Uh, tea you're trying to grow and where it's from. Okay. All right. On the once you get into here, this wood is not as full of the uh, flavoring. It's not as potent. It's not as potent. Okay. As the area that is best. Almost like the it's bar the kind of sense. People, in the, the, layman's terms, yeah. The area right underneath the bark, the under bark, okay. that you can almost peel off with your finger like that. Okay. That is the strongest part of it. It's almost waxy. Now, now once, once it gets up into the tree part, like it, quits carry, it quits carrying as much of the flavor with it. The flavor is concentrated in the root. This was where the ground was. Where I, you can see where I've started. So you literally need believe, need to be below ground line level. Right, because okay. that's where everything settles down into it. The, okay. The parts that, and that's the food storage. And so what you're looking for is what is already stored for its food. Okay. Uh, and uh, so the sassafras. You use the bark. How much you use depends on how strong the bark is. On a lot of things, you can't overdo it too much. I say that. My son once decided I had picked five pounds of sassafras bark root that I was going to have for all me, all my reenactment friends, and everything else. <laughs> and he went and talked to some of them who had a sense of humor, and they told him he was only eight, so. <laughs> They told him, yeah, you use it all. Oh, so he, oh. he boiled in a little pot five pounds of root. That, yeah, that is too much and too strong. Right, right. But on the whole, yeah, this this would make a couple cups. Okay, okay. Uh, if I want to make enough for ten cups, maybe that much. So how, so how long will uh, you steep that to get right? You don't steep Okay. This is this is a decoction as opposed to an infusion. You have to boil it. Okay. And you keep Is this it, like you, a hard boil? No, this is what's called a roll. A roll. Okay. Okay. Which is you bring it just to like the point of boiling it. and it will start to turn over. You can see it turning over, but it's not hard no bubbles, there's no whatever. It's just kind of rolling over. It's has that inversion going on. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, you bring it to about a roll, and then you cook it down for about an hour to an hour and a half. Okay. Now, if you have, it will make tea at any point, but if you have good bark from the root, good root bark in there, it will turn purple when it is ready. The tea will be purple. The tea will be purple. Are we purple. talking like purple rain purple? Are we talking like lilac? What kind of purple? It is, it is a little bit deeper than a lilac. Okay, so not like ink purple, but like no. a lilac purple. Okay. But, but Us women have to have these visuals. <laughs> we have um, to. We're into color. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not brilliant purple, but it is very noticeably purple. Okay, if, okay. Now. If it doesn't turn purple, that doesn't mean it's bad. It okay. just means you don't have quite the flavor. So this is all about flavor? The not flavor. Okay, okay. Sassafras has always been considered one of the cure-all, be-all um, herbal things. And it's so much so that in the 1690s, it was our number one export from this country. Oh. Not tobacco, not cotton, not any of these other things. Sassafras root. Because gotcha. they believed it was a cure-all. Right. And they had the plague going on there, so they wanted anything that could anything cure. Anything that could right. Well, somebody started noticing that, well, they weren't getting any better if they took the sassafras, uh. whether they took sassafras or not. Sassafras, it does have a little bit of blood cleansing, so a spring tonic. Yeah, it's okay as that. It's not even your best spring tonics. Okay. okay. Um, other than that, it has no medicinal use at all. So what's what? 
flavor? But the flavor. Okay. Yeah, well, you can smell. Right. What, and it's a very, also, because you do boil it for so long, you boil off and kill off all the germs. Uh, gotcha. Okay. So it was, it was a good... Uh, drink for people to drink. It's like you going and open up an A and W root beer. Right. Right. <laughs> well, sort of. Except the root beer's right. bad for you. Right. This but is you not get my going. point. You yeah. know, it's like, hey, we're having some sassafras today. That's and, a. That's a. That's a. Uh, um, yeah. Right. Right. And it has a kind of sweet taste too. So back when there wasn't as much sugar and everything available, sure. this made a very good drink that could be enjoyed then. Even without the sugar. So, the, if I want to um, go get me the, some sassafras, what do I need to look for? Because that's what right. confuses people the most. Is right. you know, because nobody wants to I dig up to, something I that had my leaves. You know, the dig up all the Yeah, we, we, right. we, we want we want sassafras, not thing, hemlock or something. The neat right. thing about <laughs> sassafras is you'll see on each tree it has leaves. Okay. Single leaves. It has what I call the mitten leaves, okay. which is two, and it has, well, this one's a little eaten up. Here's a good one. Three. Because everybody loads. always pushes that, and they, they usually they push the mitten. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the single leaf, that's, that's not, that's like, But you know, all uh, three of them will be present on the same branch, even, and on oh. the same, uh, so yeah, here, here I've got right next to each other. I can show you a mitten, mitten, a single, single. and a triple. A triple. All, mitten. all okay. right there, touching each other. Okay. I mean, so they're they're all. Another thing is, the fresh green growth will be green rather than the bark like this. Okay. So the smaller, the, how, how big of a sprig, if you will, are we looking for to get a really good root? Do you, do you see what right. I'm saying? How, the what? best roots, the best roots, this is way too big for the best root. Okay, uh, that's what I, okay, okay. I dug this because one thing, sassafras is very invasive. Okay. And it was starting to grow into one of the corner posts of the, uh, of the fort here, so I dug it up so, as... Right, you did that on purpose. Yeah, to get rid of it. And I'm not going to waste good sassafras. Right. So, uh, so this is a little too big for it. Okay. This is what's called a duck's head. A duck head, okay. Usually it okay. has a little bill coming off like that. Oh, either. okay, okay, uh, okay. But uh, you want about as big around as your thumb, or as big around as my thumb, let's say. Whose thumb? Yeah. yeah, my thumb yeah. or your thumb. Uh, yeah. Can we compare? Okay. Uh, about as big around as my thumb. I got you. So maybe you can put. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, got, I don't know. I got you. Like a nickel. But, yeah. About a nickel. Yeah. Okay. We, Between we, a dime we, and a we nickel. We got that. We got that. Okay. Okay. Uh, but more like a nickel, yeah. But not quite a quarter. I got you. Okay. <laughs> uh, you want it? to be that way, anything under about an inch diameter. Okay. You want to dig the root and try to keep it as intact as possible, as deep as possible. Okay. Now, normally if you're not trying to save the fort, if I'm harvesting this out in the woods, I will only take every third one. Okay. It's ethical. It's called eth ethical harvesting. Okay. Now, I will also find nodes like this that are smaller. Okay. And I'll take and I will cut those nodes out. And I will plant those back. Ah, uh, well, yeah, because you're putting back what you take. Right. right.